what's up guys welcome back to Mikey yourself and this week's video it's really just about improving right like we can always do better so as we do our projects we find the flaws and we see things that maybe we thought might be might have been a good idea at the time and we think you know what there's probably a better way to do it and this is one of those projects where I knew there would be a better way but I struggled to find a solution uh, until I looked outside of essentially the box let's check it out all right guys so we're working on the 2017 road glide and when i installed my speakers for the tour pack um, i mounted my amp back here and of course i ran the cables through and go down here and i have all of my fuses and stuff here on the you know behind the behind behind this side cover and what I did is I used distribution blocks for the power and a distro for the um, ground. Now for my power, I do have a main fuse. So that's kind of hitting back up in there. And then each of the amps that I am running, I have separate fuses. So that way, it, you know, I have a lot of coverage just in case of the event of a short. The reality is this like i don't play my music loud enough where i'm going to be drawing so much power that i'm going to be blowing fuses it would be more of the likely event of a short for some reason so we use very thick gauge wire um, this i believe is six gauge and then i have some eight gauge uh, as well i just ran out of the six so uh, anyhow what we're going to do is i want to be able to take or easily take off my tour pack if for whatever reason i feel like doing so like maybe during a wash or whatever it is right so today i can still do it it just takes a little bit more effort meaning i'd have to unscrew the fuse pull that out and then you know pull it all out aside so what i've been looking for what i was trying to figure out is like what's a quick fast disconnect in order you know to be able to to make this easier right and 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 to be honest like maybe i wasn't typing the right words or or whatever it is but i just couldn't find a solution um that would be easy right so like i even asked a couple questions um unfortunately I, you know not that i got provided an answer of no it doesn't exist but i just actually didn't get any answer but that's okay because as I thought a little bit more about it, what I thought about is I need as a solution that can, you know, be put on a motorcycle, support the power requirement, and also be waterproof. And I don't know why it didn't come to me more naturally. And I, yeah, beyond me, right? Sometimes simple things just kind of go. <whistles> Anyhow, so what I thought about was why not use marine grade or boat type stuff, right? So that's what we're gonna do. So what we got here is a waterproof quick disconnect. I picked this up off of Amazon. It's eight gauge wiring. Let's see if I can get that in there. But yeah, so it's eight gauge and we're gonna introduce that to this so that way, and we're gonna keep it behind this panel. Um, so if I do wanna take off my my tour pack you know i'm gonna have to take off the saddle bag and then the side panel to be able to disconnect it and that's fine um but at least now i can easily disconnect it without having to undo my fuses and all that kind of good stuff um yeah just to make it better now i know some folks might say you know it's probably a bad idea to have a connector um and and doing it and then doing it with you know with your fuse there but I've seen it both ways. So, I mean, I don't know. It's it's going to be pick your poison for me. I'm going to go ahead and put this there. So that way uh, I can connect it to the, uh, the fuse and be able to disconnect it relatively easy. So let's jump into this. Uh, we're going to do some soldering. So I'm not going to use butt end connectors um, because I want a little bit stronger bond. So I'm going to use, you know, just straight up you know soldering and then we'll throw some heat shrink over it to make this a little bit more you know solid or rigid of a connection um 
I already have a butt connector for my remote wire, so I'm gonna leave that. I do have another solution, but to be quite honest, I bought some connectors from Timu some time ago, and the single wire connector is terrible. I bought it from Timo. I get it, my fault, right? <laughs> Anyhow, if you're interested to know what this plug is, here's the barcode or whatever. It's um, the brand is RPTCOTU waterproof. I'll throw the link in there, but it's a 50 amp eight gauge wire setup. So I, you know, I'm not gonna be pulling 50 amps. Uh, I just, again, I don't, I, I don't have that kind of load with the speakers I'm using or the volume that I play my stuff at. So let me go ahead and get my soldering kit and stuff set up and we'll start working on the wiring here. All right, so I've gone ahead, disconnected my wires from the distribution blocks. I pulled my fuses um, just to be safe, right? Cause you never know. Um, and in the distro block, what I didn't do before um, putting this in, and maybe I should have, again, different ways to skin a cat, but I did not tin the wire with solder to make it more of a solid state. Uh, instead, I just left it as it's braided itself. And of course, when you do that, and then you tighten down that um, set screw, it crushes the wiring. So you get a really crappy ending there. So, you know, you're gonna wanna start off with something nice and fresh. So we'll go ahead and cut that off and restrip it just to make sure we get a clean a clean end. All right. So now we're just going to use a razor blade. We'll strip this back a little bit and start connecting our connector. Start connecting our connector. Yeah, that wasn't on purpose. Um, but I'll show you how I'm going to solder it up. Again, different ways to skin a cat. It's always up to you how you want to approach this. This is just the way I'm doing it. Ultimately, what I'm trying to show you is how to add a disconnect, a quick disconnect to your amplifier so you can get your tour pack if you want. So methods may vary. Check out, um, there's a lot of website, or not website, but YouTubers who do soldering. They've got some really great ideas. I've also seen some that are really bad ideas, so just make sure you read through the comments. You'll see guys, you know, speak up as to whether or not it's a good idea or a bad idea. We want to keep you safe, and we want to make sure you do the best job you can. So, yeah, let me go ahead and strip this out, and we'll do the soldering. All right, so now I've got my end stripped off, and, it, you know, no real science to what I'm doing, at least. I just kind of went almost about a finger, um, and if I need to i can always trim it down a little bit the um the connectors are kind of pre-stripped for you and they do a much smaller piece i may actually trim this out a little bit but the method i'm going to use is basically i'm going to shove these into one another that way it intertwines the copper the wiring right and then you smash it down and you get a you get a really good bond um it, i mean it's not like it's inseparable once you do that, uh, but because of that weave, when you solder it, it really bonds everything a little bit better together, personally, in my opinion, um, compared to like terminations or couplers, right? So I am gonna trim this one down just a little bit, um, and that way, what I wanna do is essentially the wires to kinda meet this and to make it a little bit cleaner. Now, I've already slid on my heat shrink so that way as soon as i have my end soldered i could slide that up and cover up our bare wire and that way we have protection there so let me go ahead and trim that down and get it soldered up i'll let you guys watch i Inside my own world of make-believe Kids screaming in the cradles Profanities I see the world through ice covered in ink and bleach Cross out the ones who heard my cries and watched me weep I love everything Fuck 
fire spreading all around my room My world's so bright, it's hard to breathe But that's alright, hush Take my eyes open to force reality Why can't you just let me eat my weight in glee? I live inside my own world of make-believe Kids screaming in the cradles, profanities Some days I feel skinnier than all the other days Sometimes I can't tell if my body belongs to me I love everything Fire spreading all around my room My world's so bright, it's hard to breathe But that's alright, hush All right, so I've got the uh, positive done, and as you saw, like, so it's a little bit harder trying to do this on the bike um, by myself without a helping hand or anything like that. So it can be a little bit challenging sometimes, but ultimately I've got a super, super strong bond there. That ain't coming off. Um, I do have some little stragglers poking out. Like, it's not pretty. <laughs> I, unfortunately, you know, I would love for it to be a perfect looking thing. I'm not a machine. Um, and I'm not a professional solder -er person either way um, I am going to clean that up a little bit and then we'll slide the uh, heat shrink over it cover it up and that's it that's all you got to do so let me go ahead I'll do the cleanup on this one I'm going to solder the negative terminal and then on the other side it's going to work out for us because we have the distribution blocks what we're going to do is tint the um, the other wires and then put them into the distro blocks and then we can just plug in and plug. So that's going to be an easier part. That is one of the nice things about the distribution blocks is uh, removal is a lot easier. And while I'm in here, I'm also going to clean, take the opportunity to kind of clean up the other wiring that I did, like I mentioned, where I didn't tend those wires. So I'm going to do that to like some of this other stuff in that way. It just looks a little bit cleaner. So let me go ahead and wrap this up and we'll um, take a look at what it looks like. All right, I'm bringing it back uh, before I finish up this negative terminal because, or not terminal, what the hell, negative wire connection because I made a mistake. So I made mention that I had slid on my uh, heat shrink and what Mike didn't do, they should have done, is not only check whether or not it goes over this insulation on this side of the connector, but to make sure it goes over this insulation on that side of the wire. The, the heat shrink I used is too small to slide over. So I had to redo my entire red side. Um, so just as a note, make sure you check your heat shrink fits before you do all this. So um, yeah, anyhow, lesson learned. Just wanted to share that with you guys. I goofed up. Um, be careful of that. The other thing is... As you're working around stuff, make sure you don't get anything in between because then you'll have to uh, cut your wire and redo it again too. That's why it's probably so much better to do it off of the bike. But yeah, let me button this up and bring you back. Okay guys, so I've got everything buttoned up. Um, I went ahead and tinted the ends of my wires. Uh, my positive here is going to the fuse, which is going to the distribution block and of course to the battery, right? Um, and then I've got my connection here that is going to the amplifier and the tour pack. So now I have that opportunity where I can go ahead and disconnect and I'll be able to pull this through to get, um, to take off the tour pack when I want. Granted, I just want to be very transparent. It doesn't mean it's like quick, quick, right? It just means I have that ability to disconnect it easily. Um, so yeah, so anyhow, uh, one of the other things I'm I've never used it before, but I've always kind of wondered about it because it's used in most auto, is 
the uh, like electrical tape that's almost like a material on the outside. Um, when I've used electrical tape in the past, I, I don't like to use it because it gets like, after it gets hot, like it's just sticking, kind of falls apart or whatever it is. Um, this is similar to the stuff that they use on the vehicle. So I, I picked up like five rolls of this stuff um, through Amazon. X fasten is what it says in there. So yeah, so it's just the material on the outside, but sticky on the inside. I'm gonna try that out. I wonder what that's like, if it's gonna be a better, you know, coverage. And again, it's just to give it a little bit more of a uniform look. I didn't need to bring my uh, loom all the way through. So let's hook it up. Now I do have my fuses in, so I'll probably hear a pop. Or not a pop, but the little spark that you usually get. And no, I actually didn't. Clicks in super strong as far as the connection goes and then to undo it you just push down on the tab and you can pull it out so there you go all right so that cleans that up for me again it gives me the opportunity to disconnect it um yeah pretty straightforward Alright guys, so that's it for this video. Again, just wanted to kind of share with you something that I was looking for, which is what connector to use as a quick disconnect for my amplifier because of the thicker gauge wire used for the ground and the power. Um, remote wire is simple. It's usually like 16 gauge um, or about 14 sometimes. Um, and you can do that with some simple terminations or couplers. But for the thicker gauge wires, I just I didn't have a solution and hadn't thought about Again, seems like common sense now to me at the moment, but hadn't thought about just looking into things like connectors that they use for boats, um, since they are exposed to the water and all that kind of good stuff. So I hope that, you know, one, this gives you a solution, and then two, get an idea of kind of how I do my wiring. Um, I'm not perfect at it, and I don't have the science down 100%, but my bonds are good, I get good connectivity, so, and it's safe. Um, so those are just things to think about. So I hope you enjoyed this. If it did, hit that thumbs up. If you uh, enjoy this, my content, become a subscriber. I'd love to have you as part of our community. Provide your input. If you have a different way of doing it, um, maybe you know of a better connector or, or something of that sort, drop a comment below. Really appreciate that feedback. And until my next video does post, I hope to see you in the wind.